Hello, this is Mars Nadesco Fan 83. Starting part 18 of my semi blind play of Shin Sakura Tyson. I have to apologize because uh, I kind of made it. I uh, kind of made a fool of myself in the past episode. I confused uh, Kabuki Theater and No Theater, and they are actually two very different things. And my phone is ringing. Again, I am not going to do this probably until I finish the game. So, I confused uh, Kabuki Theater, No Theater, two very different formats of performance, and... And, uh, I guess I really do... And, so, all is right in the universe, I really do know less about No Theater than Kamiyama. I've been looking around the um, theater for uh, photographs. I haven't found any recently. <laughs> well, we got a. That's a hoe. We need more actresses. We have two. Trust me, we have plenty of things to fix. We have Anastasia, we have Sakura. That's it. That's it in terms of our of her practices. Of our actresses. So among that other other misunderstandings I've had. Uh, an ensign can captain a ship, um, but the ship Kamiyama was given is typically uh, way too large for way too uh, large a ship for an ensign to command. Hi. Typically, but this is the Sakura Wars universe. He's in the navy. Um, being able to, uh, being able to pilot ships is important. Kaoru. <laughs> Komachi. Yeah, she's the no-pawn girl. The, um, saleswoman at the front desk. Who apparently always purchases the wrong item. She is a terrible saleswoman. She's coming to me to to come up with ideas of things to sell. This is the second time she's done that. So she's not good at sales. She's not good at inventory. In the beginning of the game, she wasn't particularly good at selling things. <laughs> She's driving Kaoru crazy. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so now they're, uh... They're exposing that, uh, Kaoru is... Being driven to neurosis <laughs> by Komachi. <laughs> so now it's not so much as helping Komachi, who I think is. I think it's a waste of time trying to help her. She's a terrible saleswoman. It's more about just helping Kaoru. And it, let's 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 face it. That's that's a much better motivation, don't you think? Uh, another thing I said, I said I didn't understand uh, uh, Hatsuho's uh, Shrine Maiden job. Oh, this is actually a... Uh... So that's actually the event. Um, so I'll go to the Misaka Memorial Park. Hatsuho's a, a Shrine Maiden. 
Uh, apparently there are supplemental materials that go into what that entails. Because... Oh... Sakura, you're speaking with the crazy woman. I'm starting to have my regrets. Lancelot is worse than Duo. And to Sakura's credit, and I've warmed up to Sakura a lot, uh, she's treating her like a crazy person. I felt, a, I felt a bit guilty after declaring that I need... Well, you're sane. <laughs> yeah, Sakura's better than Lancelot. She's got swordsmanship, and she's sane. I felt a bit guilty, uh, afterwards, uh, not bringing Sakura to fight Duo Maxwell, but... Well, I'll be correcting that with this one. I do find it strange that, uh... That the f that our uh, theater troupe basically forgave Duo after he could have crushed Sakura in her cockpit. There was no reason for him to do that. He's fucking crazy. And yes, I will be using I will be I will be swearing every once in a while. I am sorry. I've been trying to- I've been trying- I- I- I try to watch my mouth, but... Duo is crazy. Uh, Lancelot there is crazy. Um... And... This team, the team I'm contr I'm controlling in this game, they're crazy for- 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 for-, for Trying to be civil with them. <laughs> they are dangerous people. <laughs> uh, so what was I saying? Yeah, going on about my apology about Hatsuho, I didn't... Depends on the shrine. Uh, it could be a part-time job, could be a full-time job. Plus, this is the World of Sakura Wars. I don't think there have been any uh, Shrine Maidens in Sakura Wars so far, though. Maybe a play? I thought- I thought Mythology was what her last play was. They were dressed up as- they were dressed up in- you had the Greek Emperor and Sakura in a toga or a toga-like dress. Kamiyama. Kamiyama, she's 16. She's 16. You're 20. Okay. Kamiyama. Kamiyama, I know 16 and 20 isn't as bad as 16 and 22, but it's still bad. She's a child, you're an adult. And she's your subordinate. 
Kamiyama! With the DLC, you can actually make Clarice wear pants. You can make her wear trousers. I should have done that. Of course, then he'd just be staring at her butt, so I don't know. Oh, creepy confection in cafe. Well, they're on sale. <laughs> Kamiyama, have have you not? <laughs> have you not? Oh, how much he? Um, hmm. Well, hmm. I'm actually gonna go to Komachi first. No pawn girl first. Make all the cookies look exactly like you. That way, I'll f that way, I'll be happy to break them apart and eat them. Here's your idea. How long have we known each other? Uh... A month? Oh. Ha ha ha! Kamiyama Ah, Flower Division Manchu. I'd feel guilty eating the girl- the other girls. Though, well, at least Sakura, Azumi, and um... <laughs> okay! Wait! <laughs> Way to completely misinterpret what I'm saying! Okay. So apparently... That... That was an acceptable answer anyway. Yeah. You know what? Because I said, uh, Flower Division Manju, you know, shaped like the character's heads, that's what she's gonna order. Because she never orders the right thing. She's a terrible salesperson. You know, I've been warming up to the girl. I've been warming up to the girls. No pawn girl. She'll always be there to incense my to incense my ire. Yeah, we stole your product. Who says this? Okay. No. All I said was that I wanted to try one.
You know, she's a bit saccharine, but she doesn't seem actually like a bad person. So that's a phone booth. That's actually pretty funny. Considering, uh, you know, he has the, uh... Uh... Okay, so this will advance the plot. So, uh... We'll go here first. And there's nothing! Why are we t why why does it give the option to talk to these people? They have nothing to say. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, at least you're aware you're being annoying. Split personality boy. I've said this before, sometimes he's duo Maxwell, sometimes he switches straight into Axel Elmer. And not Axel Elmer from uh, Super Robot Wars original generations, the uh, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 releases. And PlayStation 4. Uh, no. Axel Armor from... The... From... The first release of... Original Generation 2 on the Game Boy Advance. That Axel Elmer. Well, now he's in duo mode. Maybe that's maybe that's why he's he's uh he's modeled after Duo Maxwell. Cuz he's a freaking split personality. Have you checked the big sparkly thing and <laughs> flowers? Okay, look for sparkly things. Yeah, I'm not gonna find this thing. Okay, we're done here. Didn't find anything. There was nothing to find! You know, this isn't our investigation, it's yours! Don't criticize us... us for doing things, things you're supposed to be doing. Too close.
It's going to be Azami, isn't it? Uh, you can tell that from here. Lately, you've been very jittery, Duo. I noticed it, uh... In the combat review games, and I'm noticing it now. You're like... Oh, you too, Kamihama. <laughs> You're twitching your head. Sazami. Great. At this point, I'm not even reading it. Oh no. They're not gonna ask me to remember all the details. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. No. Okay, kimono and hat, that's all I remember. I'm gonna get this wrong. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh wait, I need, nope. Okay. I hate this little side mission, let's get it over with. Oh, maybe it's not Azumi. Maybe it's someone from Azumi's village. That would be interesting. What? Playing kimono. Oh, and also sandals.
I don't remember. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Uh, but apparently I got enough right. I don't really care. <laughs> Her... Oh, okay. So she's wearing the she's wearing a plain kimono. He's also wearing a plain kimono. I even though they dropped the hat, he could get another one. Either him or the old lady. Oh, no, it's the old lady. Okay, congratulations, duo. You did something. Okay. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping she was wrong. Is she really cutie, honey? Is she a magical girl dressed like an old woman? Oath. Oh. Uh huh. You 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 try to kill people. <laughs> Duo is a psychopath. Okay, so I guess he's Batman. Which uh. I don't know. I, I guess Duo Maxwell could be Batman. You know, given given uh, he pilots a uh, Shinigami themed mech, but no, no. Okay, so join the police or the civilian watch. By civilian watch, I mean, like, the neighborhood watch. <laughs> but I see him more like... But I see him more like a dangerous vigilante, so I guess he can't. Yeah, you're forgetting Azumi! 
You're forgetting Azami. This is the Azami chapter. There's a distinct lack of Azami in it. Uh, I'm going to check out for tonight. Um, so let's see. Um, I apologized for some cultural misunderstandings. Um, really, if any of you guys want to correct me on anything, you can always leave a comment. Uh, I engaged in this pointless side quest that didn't actually mean anything. Or maybe it will. I, d I have no clue. <laughs> the whole thing was terribly mundane and pointless. <laughs> or so it seemed. Yeah, Kamiyama's wondering too. So this has been part 18 <laughs> of... Shin Sakura Tyson. I'll see you next time. Hopefully things will pick up up then.